I think the last time I talked about Wayland Global Shortcuts was all the way back when the feature first got merged into XDG Desktop Portals back in September. But when something gets merged into a project, you're not going to see it in a release for maybe, you know, three or so months. And that's exactly what happened. And finally, the first step of my dream has been achieved in the 1.16 release, introduce the global shortcuts portal. This portal allows applications to register and receive keyboard shortcuts even when they're not focused. This was a highly requested feature, especially on Wayland desktops. There are improvements to come, but portal backends can now implement this portal. As a quick refresher, the reason why we need something like this to exist is Wayland was designed by people who don't know how anybody else uses their computer. Over on the Xorg side and anything else you'd want to be using, you can run a key binding on an application when it is not in focus. Let's say my buttons to change my overlays in OBS, my record button, or push to talk in an application like Discord, Zoom, or anything else you might want to use. But on the Wayland side, for security, this can't be done. And key bindings can only be read when an application is in focus, which isn't actually any more secure because Wayland keyloggers also still exist. So it just makes the experience incredibly inconvenient, or in some cases, downright broken. So all my Wayland issues are resolved then, and OBS functions like it should. Well, not so fast. Now we have the portal backend, we also need the desktop backend that acts as a buffer between the two. And here, we still have a little bit of work to do. In some cases, it's positive, like on the KDE side. Over on the KDE side, is done, is merged in the code base, is, you know, ready to use right now. I don't know if it's in a current release of KDE, but it was merged two weeks ago before the release of 1.16, so it should be in a release sometime in the near future. And when things were still like a work in progress, they even had a testing application to make sure everything was lining up like it should. It seems like KDE is going to be the first place where global shortcuts actually work properly. And the reason I started on KDE is it only goes downhill from here, boys. Next up, we have GNOME. Six months ago, created by Georges Stavrakis, implement global shortcuts. This is an issue used to discuss things. They had some mock-ups of, of, you know, how it could actually look. Uh, these have been modified as of four weeks ago. And, you know, it seems like they have an idea it fits into what GNOME is going to be. Um, as for merge requests, well, <laughs> this is the end of the discussion of, like, things related to the portal. This is something new. So, there's three comments. I don't know if GNOME's going to implement this anytime soon. If they do, it's probably going to be Georges Stavrakis implementing it because... He seems like a god-tier developer who just implements things himself because no one else is. If you forgot, the reason why OBS functions on Wayland is because of George Stavrakis. He's the one who pushed through the pipe wire and the portal stuff to make it all function. Now you might think I'm going to say W.O. Roots next, and I'm not. We're going to talk about something doing better than W.O. Roots. Cosmic. Cosmic doesn't exist. Cosmic is not available yet, you cannot install it, so I'm happy to give them leeway on, you know, getting things implemented. If you go and look at their portal, their portal is barely worked on, but, you know, work in progress, that's fine. W your roots, on the other hand, well, <laughs> W your roots usually has a history of doing things really well, getting things implemented before anybody else and making them actually good. When it comes to their portal though, I didn't actually know this, but the WL Roots portal isn't a real desktop portal. So there is a little discussion about getting this implemented. Currently there is a portal for registering global shortcuts in the works for XDD Desktop Portal 1.16. 
I've just created this issue here to, one, gather opinions on how this might want to be implemented on the WL root slash sway side of things, and two, track progress of implementation. Since I don't think this is possible with current sway slash WL roots, I presume it require a bit of development in both. Is this something you think will be supported? The end goal is very similar to what the feature request of forwarding key events in Sway would achieve, and links to the various related things in XG Portal and Sway. And the first response from a top contributor gives me a lot of hope. This project exists to interact between the Portal API and Wayland protocols. Unless there is a Wayland protocol created, e.g. this one here that is very long dead because the portals exist now and no one cares about this anymore. Providing a comparable feature set, this is blocked. So when I say this is not a real desktop portal, this is what I mean. Someone was trying to use a different feature of desktop portals in WL Roots, and they noticed that it didn't support it. In fact, it doesn't really support anything except screencasting and screenshotting. Now the FAQ does say this. Right at the top it says, what is XDPW, which is XDG Desktop Portal WR. This project seeks to add support for screenshot, screencast, and possibly remote desktop XDG Desktop Portal interfaces for WL Roots based compositors. So when it comes to other things like global shortcuts here, it's sort of out of the scope of this desktop portal, and for a lot of other things, it's expected you have another portal installed like the GTK portal. But this dev seems at least willing to consider it if there is a protocol to attach to. Now, besides just never being implemented because of the portals, like many things in Wayland, it ended up in debate hell for multiple years and nothing, yeah, ever happened with it. So maybe let's add a protocol into WLR protocols, the protocols for WL roots. That is um, not gonna happen though, because if you have a look at the bottom down here, submitting new protocols. New protocols should not be submitted to WLR protocols. Instead, submit them to Wayland protocols. This is the main set of Wayland protocols. So, you implement XDG portals to get away from relying on the Wayland protocols and have the desktops each handle their own way of doing this. But now you need to go and add a protocol into Wayland, which never happened because it was a giant debate over how to do it. Yeah, this is going to be a fun one. So whether this ever ends up happening in WL Roots is kind of up in the air. And this is one of the things I was really excited for for using Sway. If it doesn't happen, I don't know, maybe I guess I try out using KDE. I don't like floating windows, so I would use one of the like tiling plugins. But hey, maybe, maybe that's something we do. Let me know when global shortcuts are working in KDE and maybe I'll do that. Or maybe I'll switch to Pop! OS when Cosmic comes out. That's probably not gonna happen. KDE seems more likely. But even though KDE has this solution, they also have a slightly different solution for X Wayland applications. X Wayland allow users to optionally let X Wayland eavesdrop certain key codes. It's somewhat popular for voice communication applications to support push to talk. This means the process itself expects to get all of the system input. This behavior, albeit sound, does not work on Wayland systems. This commit adds an option to let legacy X11 applications that assume they'll be getting all information to do so until these apps are properly ported to the XDP global shortcuts, which is the XDG desktop portal thingy. And this is how the interface is gonna look. Basically, you can allow everything, all keys if a modifier is pressed, only modifier keys, or nothing at all. Now, GNOME also does allow this in a slightly different way, in a way that ends up confusing a lot of users. So, if you are focused on an XWayland application, another XWayland application can read those key bindings. But if you're focused on a Wayland application, those XWayland applications can't do that. Basically, this guy wants it to either work consistently or not work altogether. GNOME, unlike KDE, doesn't have this toggle, so it 
seems like it's broken rather than it seems like the way X Whalen is supposed to function. But I really do hope sometime in the near future we can put this whole segment of Whalen behind us and get to a point where you can't just complain that Wayland is missing basic desktop functionality and everything is just working like you'd expect. You get your supposed security benefit and everything still functions. But we're still a little bit away from that, but it's looking like 2023, 2024 might be the point where most of those things are being dealt with. I say most because there's still going to be a couple of issues here and there, but most of the major ones are going to be disappearing. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you hope Whalen gets better? Are you excited for global shortcuts? Do you use push to talk? Or are you someone who just uses an open mic? I would love to know. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe to the Pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T. I've got a gaming channel called Brody on Games. That's going to be it for me. And I'm out.